Now, there are certain properties of proportion which we need to understand. One is a simple property of cross multiplication. That is, we know that A by B is equal to C by D. Hence, it is the same as telling cross multiply AB is equal to BC. In simple words, if AD is equal to BC, then A by B will be equal to C by D. And then we have the process of invertendo, which means that if A by B is equal to C by D, then it follows that B by A is also equal to D by C. In other words, whatever is the ratio relation between two ratios and if they are equal, if two ratios are equal, their inverse ratios are also equal. Simple example, suppose 2 by 3 is equal to 4 by 6, 3 by 2 is also equal to 6 by 4. Then you have alternando, from the name suggests, alternando means you are alternating some terms. Now, if a by b is equal to c by d, you, you can alternate this. It is the same as telling a by c would be equal to b by d. You are just transposing the consequent and antecedent of the terms. You can even do it the same way for a. Even d by b is equal to c by a and that is called alternando. Then we have componendo rule, that is, if a by b is equal to c by d, then you add the consequent a plus b upon the original one and you do the same to the right hand side too, the new ratios obtained will also be equal. Yes, so if a by b is equal to c by d, a plus b upon b is also equal to c plus d upon d. Dividendo is just similar to this, but it's concerned with minus. That is, A minus B by B is also equal to C minus D by D. And componendo and dividendo is a combination of these two, which would mean it's A plus B upon A minus B is equal to C plus D upon C minus D. As simple as that. And then we have addendo. This means that suppose you have a number of ratios a by b, c by d, e by f, etc. All these are equal. Then you can obtain another ratio by adding all the antecedents, add all the consequents, you get a new ratio and this new ratio is also equal to each of the original ratios. This is called addendo. We also have subtrahendo. Subtrahendo is just the other way around. That is, if A by B is equal to C by D is equal to E by F is equal to G by H and so on and so forth. Even if you subtract A minus C minus E upon B minus D minus F, even these two are equal. This e, the new ratio obtained is also equal to each of the original ratios. Now, when we have so many A's and B's, you might find it a little difficult. So let's once more reconsolidate these properties once more. Let's move ahead and see 